you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowah County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. Breaking news in the sexual assault allegations against former Alabama Chief Justice and U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore. Another woman has come forward claiming she too was a victim. Beverly Young Nelson claims Roy Moore sexually assaulted her 40 years ago when she was a teenager. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Nelson is the fifth woman to claim Moore pursued relationships with them when they were in their teens and he was in his 30s. Tonight, we have team coverage of the latest developments as well as how these accusations against Moore are impacting his run for the U.S. Senate. We begin with CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle. He's in the newsroom. Stefan? Sherry, another accuser coming forward after hearing the stories of those four other women. She says Moore allegedly forced himself onto her in his pickup truck. Flanked by her attorney, Gloria Allred, Beverly Young Nelson says she was sexually assaulted by Judge Roy Moore when she was just a teenager in December of 1977. I thought that he was going to rape me. I was twisting and I was struggling and I was begging him to stop. I had tears running down my face. Nelson says she's only coming forward now because of the Washington Post story in which four other women claimed he pursued relationships with them when they were in their teens and he was in his 30s. He said, you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowah County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. Nelson also provided her high school yearbook that read in part, to a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say Merry Christmas. Oh, excuse me. Love, Roy Moore, DA, 122-77, Old Hickory House. Moore insists the allegations aren't true, calling Allred a sensationalist That's lawyer, and he says he's going to sue the Washington Post for it publishing the story. They hate conservatives, so they're going to come out and say anything they can. And do I trust the Washington Post? Not on your life. Moore's wife Kayla also speaking out in support of her husband, saying after the accusations came out against Judge Moore, his polling numbers did not change. So do you think they will let up? We knew something was coming. Just did not know what next. Now, as continue uh, as reaction continues to roll in, coming up at six, we'll dig into more details about this alleged encounter with Moore as he is just weeks away from a special election. That's the latest from the newsroom. Sherry, back to you.